Welcome back, Weld2 family. My name is Luke Lewis. I'm a pipe welder from Brownsville, Texas. Today we're going to be welding up a 1 inch plate test in the 3D position using E71T 11, a gasless flux core. All right, so for the fit up on this one inch plate test, I went ahead and I cleaned up the bevels. I put a 332nd face on them, cleaned up the outside, cleaned up the scale. We're gonna flip them over. We're gonna use our backing strip. We know it's a quarter inch and we want a quarter inch gap. We're just gonna butt it up. All right, so we've got our quarter inch gap and we've got our backing strip. We've got our prep side goes down, we're going to put it right in the middle, make sure we have an even stick out on both sides. These are our runoff tabs and these are important because when we do the test, the weld needs to fill up the whole bevel. So these runoff tabs, we start the weld here, make sure we start at the bottom so that way we get to the bevel and we run up to the top to make sure we cover the top of the bevel. Alright, so we're making sure it's nice and centered and we've got an even stick out on both sides, it's centered on the bevel. I'm going to check underneath. I don't want to see a gap between the bevel edge and the backing strip because that'll leave an opportunity for a slag inclusion. You might have a little bit of undercut because this backing strip, you want full fusion between both sides of the bevel into the backing strip. So now we know that's settled, I'm going to go ahead and tack it up on this corner, jump over to this corner, we're getting our four corners, and then after we get the four corners tacked, we're going to come in and do a tack in the center. All right, so today we're going to be using the Miller XMT 350 Field Pro. It's powering our Arch Reach suitcase. Right now I've got it at 22 volts, running at 235 wire speeds. It's the same settings that I'm gonna run the root at, but it's gonna be fine for tacking right now. So when you're tacking on a plate, always start from the outside edge and go in. If you were to start from the inside and work your way out, you would blow a little crater on this outside of the bevel. So we're gonna start from the outside. Work our way in. Jump over to the opposite side. Before we get started, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the wire we're using today. It's E71T-11. It's a gasless flux core. It presents a lot of opportunities, so you don't need to carry around a cylinder. You don't need to worry about regulators or gas lines. So it's used a lot for like hobby welders, DIY welders, farm use. It has its industrial uses as well. It's used a lot in shipyards, bridges, and similar industries. Before we start welding, I'm going to call the CWI over. He's just going to give the plate a check over, make sure we're good to go. All right, so you got it all tacked up here? You can see guys, he's got it tacked up in the 3G position here, one inch plate, quarter inch backing strip. You know, this is common welder qualification you might get, you know, when you're gonna go do industrial welding, stuff like that. You know, they're gonna wanna test you. And here's a similar setup of what you might see. You're good to go, Luke. All right, David just approved our, our fit up. Before we get started, I'm gonna talk a little about the settings on the machine. Voltage, we're running at 22. Wire speed, I've got at 235. And we are running on DCEN. That's what this wire runs on. So for the root pass, you'll make sure you're going to start on your runoff tab. You're going to bring the puddle up. And we're going to start fusing on both sides of the wall, making sure we burn the bevel and fuse into the backing bar. And we're going to work our way up. And when we get to the top, continue running that bead up on this runoff tab. Make sure you pause it on the side to the chocolate metal. So if you start going side to side too fast and you don't pause on the side, you're just going to eat up the bevel and not deposit enough metal, and that's going to leave on the set. So as you come out to the side, pause, let the wire deposit, fill in that gap you just made. Look out to the side, pause, let it fill, look to the other side, pause, let it fill. And as we're coming up, make sure you keep that gun angle the same. It doesn't have to be a straight 90 degrees. You can have it bent down slightly, pointing up. So as you come up, it is easy to start dropping the gun down. So as I come up, I'm making sure I'm continuing that puddle outside, working onto this stacking strip. All right, so we just finished up the route. I'm gonna take a 1 8 grinding disc. I'm gonna grind into the toes of the weld a little bit, clean them up, because that's one of the like the easiest areas to get a slag inclusion. Um, then we're gonna call David over, he's gonna check it out and tell us if we're good to go on our next pass. Looks good, looks all tied in here. Be good to go, just gonna mark it up here. Go ahead and continue and uh, I'll be checking up on you as you fill it up. All right, so we're getting ready to do our hot pass. 
I'm gonna leave all the settings the same. We're still at 22 volts and 235 on the wire speed. The same movement, you're gonna start down on the runoff tab, come up, I'm gonna weave side to side, catching the bevels, pause the metal deposit, fill it up, uh, make sure we don't get any undercut. So I'm going side to side, pausing on the side, kind of crossing the middle quickly. But if I go across the middle slowly, it's going to deposit too much metal and it's going to cause a, kind of like a very high profile bead, which we want to avoid. So coming in on the side, pausing, crossing the middle quickly, using a slow zigzag pattern. All right, so we just finished the hot pass. We ground down the toes. We're gonna do one more weave over it. We're gonna start our fills. Then after this last pass, then we're gonna start stacking stringers. Coming out to the side, pausing. Push across the middle. Pausing on the side. Let that puddle build up. All right, so I got that fill in. That was gonna be the last wide weave we're gonna do. Now we're gonna start stacking stringers. I went ahead and changed the settings on the machine. Now we're at 19.5 volts and 175 on the wire speed. So I'm doing very small side-to-side -side movement. I'm pausing much longer on the side with the beveled edge. I'm just kind of coming out and whipping on the side just to, just to move that puddle around get to spread out a little bit. Use that runoff tab. All right, so we have our one stringer on this side. Now I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna fill it up on the right side. All right, so we just finished our first two stringers starting on the stringer fills. So I'm gonna have David come over. He's gonna check it out. Good to go, Luke. Alrighty. All right, so we're good to go. We finished our first two stringers. We're gonna go ahead and stack on two more. Just weaving a little bit wider this time. It's still gonna be two stringers. All right guys, you might notice that my cup is different right now. Ended up changing the cup because you know we have no shielding gas to worry about. So you don't need a cup directing shielding gas. So this cup actually sits behind the tip. Um, so what that's doing, it's giving me a shorter stick out. I'm having more control of the arc. You can hear how much crispier it is. It's running a lot better. I have much better visibility of the puddle. Coming in on that side, pausing, letting it build. Coming over, let it build. Make sure I use that runoff tab. Gonna come up. So I'm coming out to that beveled edge, let it fill, swing back to the middle, let it build, swing out to the edge, let it build, come back over to the middle, let it fill, swing over to the edge, let it fill, come back to the middle, let it build. And that's just the repetition. I'm pausing a little less on the right side because it's a little more higher up on the beveled edge. I want to build up the middle. And in this case, the left side of the puddle a little bit more so we have a nice even cap. So I'm pausing longer on the left, just kind of swinging over, stepping the right side, let it build, and come back over, spend a little more time in the middle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw our cap. It's gonna be a three bead cap. We're gonna swing over, catch this side of the bevel, come out to just a little bit past the middle of this weld. Still using the same setting as before. We got a 19.5 volt and 175 for the wire speed. So coming in, catching this bevel, swinging out, pausing on the right side, coming back in, catching the bevel.
start about here, sweep out to the middle of this right weld, come back in, try to meet up to the center of the weld we just put down. All right guys, finished up the cap. Gonna call David over to take a look at it. There you have it, thanks for watching. 3G, gasless flux core, hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.